Hello, and welcome back to part two of Car Blogs on a Thursday that feels like a Friday. Another joyous part of being Barb, which I realized, is that when you go into places, if you're polite and you ask questions, people give you stuff. So, I just went to one of the two local libraries, which I originally was told were on separate systems, and actually will accept the same library card. So that was a nice surprise. And I came here because in our town and our state, some of the public libraries have free or discounted passes to a lot of the cultural museums, zoos, events, places. So uh, as my friends and I were planning a trip next weekend to a local zoo, uh, the Connecticut Beardsley Zoo, which is in Bridgeport, Connecticut, uh, you know, it's $19 a person if you're not a member of the zoo itself. If you get one of these passes, it used to be free. Then it was a discounted rate. It's still a discounted rate, but very recently the rate went up from $9 per adult to $10 per adult. Still better than $19. Instead of being uh, $9 in your pocket, I mean $10 in your pocket, now it's only $9. But that's still not a bad deal. So I went in, I had reserved it online, but I wanted to make sure I didn't need to get an extra, you know, the local library card because when I transferred my library card from the other town I lived in in this area to what I thought was my town's library, I found out that there's two separate public libraries in this town, which is amazing since this town has 19,000 people and is technically a city. Man, there's a neighborhood in some parts of New York where I grew up, but I digress. So the first one I went to, which is closer to where I live, they were telling me, well, we're a Carnegie library. We're not technically like the public library paid for by the municipality. So you're still going to need a library card from the other place. And we don't have those passes. You need to get passes like that from the other one, which is the Stone Building, a.k.a. You know, the Stone Public Library versus the Stucco Other Building, which is the one I went to. They were very polite. We had a great time. I signed up for some stuff. I rented a book, took it back after I read it. Everything was happy. So this library here is the one that is down the street from what I used to jokingly call my almost dream house that we went to go see an open house, but didn't really work for us when we got inside. Because my husband's like, did you see the water line in the basement? How high the water once was in here? We're not buying this. And uh, yeah, so I can see the school that is between that house and this library where I'm sitting here in the parking lot next to the building. But I went inside and I just wanted to confirm what was what. The gentleman at the circulation desk was very kind and sweet, maybe 10 years older than me. He was very smiley. I was happy when people are smiley at me. He gave me so much stuff. First up, he confirmed I don't need a different library card. Then he gave me two COVID kits along with the health department's information that issued these out. He gave me information for the specific pass for the library. Passes in general, the bookmark with their hours, and their newsletter for the month that has their hours as well. So now I am the purveyor, I'm sorry, the proud owner of all these wonderful free things, great conversation, and a verbal tour of the library. So now I will take these things home. I will feel like I accomplished something other than my little go to the doctor, get this procedure done, stop and get food on the way home, and go back home. Everything was delayed by stopping to take business calls while on the road, plus rush hour traffic. Because again, today's Holy Thursday, which is the beginning of a three-day weekend, because a lot of places are recognizing Good Friday and giving their people off for that day. So with that in mind, I am across town from my house. And I need to be there to turn my computer back on because I know I'm going to be working until at least six because this lunch hour became a, more of a lunch hour and a half. So I got to go. I'm lucky I didn't upload the other one, the other video yet, because now I can try and stitch you guys together. And if that works, great. And if not, well, then guess what? If it's not stitched together, you guys go up as two separate card logs. I'm going to play it by ear. So in case this really is its own goodbye end of video i'm gonna do my usual end of video stuff whether you're new thank you for trying my video my channel out or an existing subscriber if you like what you see consider doing the youtube button thing sign up hit notifications all that jazz or if you have been a viewer and you think you're signed up 
why don't you take a minute to confirm? Because the YouTube gremlins be bugging lately from what I hear. And they're like, I've been subscribing people randomly. And if you are missing my stuff, you probably don't want that to happen. So go ahead and double check your stuff and fix it if they effed it up. But okay, I'm going to go now because if I turn the vent on in the car or open the window, this is a pretty busy block in town. All you're going to hear is road noise. And that's not chill. So. Enjoy your holiday weekend if you celebrate, and if you don't, just enjoy having a three-day weekend if you have one. Peace in the Middle East and elsewhere on Earth, too. Bye-bye.